Just in late this afternoon, Biden administration, again, as we mentioned earlier, saying it plans to boost vaccine distribution. That will include boosting it to states by 17% next week. But still, we know Michiganders are struggling not just to get their first shots, but for some, getting that second dose in time is an issue as well. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge has been working to answer as many questions as possible tonight. He's specifically addressing the timing of that second dose. Frank, good evening. Hey, good evening, Kim and Devin. Yeah, you know, given the difficulty people are having in making appointments, the questions that have been raised about the consistency of the vaccine supply, plus winter travel plans, many, many people have been asking when they should get their second dose if they can't get it exactly 21 days after for the Pfizer vaccine or 28 days after for Moderna's. The acceptable interval for the timing of the second vaccine dose has been a bit of a moving target as the CDC updates its recommendations to reflect certain realities about the vaccine rollout. The current CDC recommendation, updated late last week, says second doses administered within a grace period of four days earlier than the recommended date for the second dose are still considered valid. That should clear things up for the many people who have asked about getting their second dose a little earlier to accommodate other plans. Now, as for delayed doses, the CDC's updated guidance is the second dose should be administered as close to the recommended interval as possible. However, if it is not feasible to adhere to the recommended interval, the second dose of Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines may be scheduled for administration up to six weeks 42 days after the first dose. Now, there's currently no available published data to support this very generous time frame, but there is similarly no reason to believe it's not justifiable. Now, the bottom line is that the CDC's current guidance should put many people's concerns to rest. The recommended intervals for the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are based on the research that was done to secure the emergency use authorizations. And that's what the published efficacy rates are linked to. The fact is, right now, we just don't know the exact effect that significantly delaying the dose is going to have. And so everyone really should still do their best to get it on time. And, and about that, Frank, there was early talk about only giving one dose to stretch the supply, and some people who had side effects from the first dose might think about skipping the second dose. How important is that second dose? Well, you know, Kim, based on the studies that have been published, it's really critical in order to reach a high level of protection. There is some information to show that one dose provides a lower level of protection, but the exact amount is really completely unclear. And that's why in the absence of more information, we are sticking with a mm -hmm. two-dose requirement. Yeah. Okay. Dr. McGeorge, we'll talk to you a little bit later. Thanks.